Hello, it's Akka007, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the five best Google Chrome extensions, in my opinion. Of course, you have your own opinion, so if you think one is better than one of the ones I show in this video, then definitely leave it below in the comment section. I will be showing these five in no certain order, just five of them, and they're all free, and they're all pretty good, so I highly suggest checking them out, and we'll have all the links you need in the description below for them. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and let's get started. So first up, we have the most controversial um, extension probably to ever exist, which is Adblock Plus. It's hugely popular. Basically, what it does is it blocks ads on the internet for you. So YouTube ads, everything in between. Now, there's a big fight basically over should you build these ad blocks because it blocks ads. So therefore, people who um, make money off of ads don't make money anymore. And for some people, it's their job. So um, is it, it's almost like a form of stealing. Now, I do have my own opinion on this, and basically I'll sum it up really quickly so this video isn't too, too long. Um, basically, I think ad blocks should be used to block ridiculous websites. And for websites like YouTube, I don't think it should be used because a five-second ad before a video starts it isn't that bad. And when you put it into perspective, because if you watch TV, there's two minutes worth of ads between every you know, six-minute segment. But anyway, though, overall, the ad block, I think, is a pretty good extension because besides the just blocking ads, it does other things like blocking known malware websites and some other small um, protection things. So overall, though, it's a great extension, and the link for it will be in the description below. The next extension I'm going to show you guys is Disconnect. What Disconnect allows you to do is block over 2,000 third-party websites from tracking you. How does that? is it blocks their requests to your computer. So when your computer accesses a website, it sends out requests. And when an advertising company tries to send out requests to your computer, Disconnect simply blocks you from that. In result, the pages load a little bit faster, not much, but the real benefit is it blocks them from getting any information from you. There's no such thing as being completely anonymous on the web, but Disconnect is one thing that can help you minimize your online footprint. Next up, we have Chrome Emoji. As it sounds, it allows you to see emojis in full on Chrome. As you guys can tell here on the Wikipedia page, you can see about 95% of them. There are some you cannot see, but for the most part, you can see pretty much all the emojis um, that are used on our phones. Nice thing too is, let's say you're typing to a friend. So for example, here, I'll open up my URL bar. You can actually click the rocket in the corner and choose one of the smiley nature events or whatever emoji you want. So for example, a smiley face here. It'll copy it to your clipboard, and all you gotta do is simply paste it in, and you're good to go. I've mentioned this extension before in a previous video, but I'll mention it again because it's a pretty good one. Hala Meta Internet allows you to kind of unblock websites and fake what current country you're in in order to access blocked websites, or even websites that are country restricted. So for example, I can switch myself to the US and get the US Google, which isn't a big deal, but I can get websites that are only available to the US. For example, Hulu. I live in Canada, so normally I can't watch Hulu. But if I fire up Hola and select the US uh, connection, then click watch now again on Hulu, there you go, it works. So that's just a little test. It also works well on Netflix. You can get the US Netflix or really whatever country's Netflix that you want. The last extension I'm going to show you guys is probably my favorite one, Hover Zoom. It allows you to put your mouse over a small photo and kind of blow it up. It supports many websites like Google Images and Flickr and even supports animated GIFs. It also supports Facebook so you can see your friends' Facebook photos without even clicking on them. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. All links for the extensions seen in this video are, will be available in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below in the comment section. If I forgot an extension that you really like, or then definitely leave that below in the comment section so other people who are browsing the web can see that. And besides that, hope you guys did enjoy, and subscribe for some more awesome YouTube tech computer videos. Thanks for watching. This is the Hacker Triple O Seven. And I'm signing off.